Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about the very important aspect, rather the very important subtopic of the Indian polity, wherein we are going to discuss about the constitutional amendment. Now here you need to understand what do you mean by amendments in the constitution, what are the provisions which are laid down in the constitution for making the amendments. Now, if you look at the previous year papers, especially CDS and NDA examination, you will find that many questions were asked from these constitutional amendments. Now, let us try to understand what does the constitutional amendment mean. See, the constituent assembly or the constitution makers, they have made these certain provisions. If at all we need to make certain changes in the constitution, we need to introduce certain bills which should be ratified by the parliament and the president of India. And there is a let down procedure. That procedure it is called as the constitutional amendment. So let us understand, we have borrowed the concept of, try to understand. We borrowed the concept of constitutional amendments. There is a set procedure that has to be adopted by the parliament of India while making the amendments in the constitution. This concept or the procedure of making the amendments in the constitution is borrowed from the South African constitution. So this question was also previously asked in the examination. From which country we have adopted the procedure of making the amendments in the constitution? So your answer should be, we have adopted the procedure of making amendments in the constitution from South African constitution. Now let us try to understand why it is necessary to make the amendments because with the passage of time, certain rules, regulations that we have, that were passed by the parliament from time to time, it has become outdated, certain laws, certain provisions in the constitution need to be repealed. In that, under that circumstances, if at all we require that we should make the change, as it is said, change is the law of nature. So we need to, in order to keep pace with the changing time, Several times constitution has been amended, so far more than 100 amendments we have made in the constitution. And many questions were asked from the amendments of the constitution. So like any other written constitution, now another thing you need to understand, India has got the written constitution. The concept of written constitution, the source of the written constitution is borrowed from the American constitution. We have borrowed the concept of having the written constitution from America. So we have got the written constitution and with the changing conditions, we need to make several changes in the constitution. But the procedure of the amendment, we have borrowed it from the American constitution, South African constitution. The written constitution concept is borrowed from American constitution and the procedure is borrowed from South African constitution. But in Britain, as we see, the procedure is a very simple, it is a very flexible one. But whereas in America, it is a very complicated one, the difficult one. But we have made the procedure of the amendment a flexible, it is not a flexible, it is not rigid one. So we can say that our constitution is neither flexible nor rigid because we have got the certain procedure, that procedure has to be followed and then we can make the amendments in the constitution. So two, three things you need to keep it in your mind. There is a provision in the constitution that as and when the time demand, we are, the parliament has got the power to make the amendments in the constitution. Now which article of the constitution has laid down the procedure of the amendment in the constitution. You need to understand this question was repeatedly asked in the examination. Article 368 
and part 20 of the Indian Constitution. Try to understand. Article 368, part 20 of the Constitution. It deals with the procedure for the amendment in the Constitution. This question, it had come in the previous NDA examination, CDS examination repeatedly. Which article provides or gives the clear-cut information regarding the procedure of the amendment of the Constitution? Your answer must be Article 368, Part 20 of the Indian Constitution deals with the powers of the Parliament. The state legislature, make it a point, the state legislatures do not have the powers to amend the Constitution. It is the discretionary power. It is the sole power of the Parliament to amend the Constitution under Article 368, Part 20 of the Indian Constitution. So, the Parliament can initiate the procedure for the amendment in the Constitution, but there is the but. The basic structure. Now here it uh, we have mentioned I have mentioned the word basic structure. Basic structure it stands for the preamble of the Indian Constitution. The words which are given there in the preamble of the Indian Constitution cannot be amended. However, however, new words can be added to the preamble of the Indian Constitution. So basic structure of the constitution cannot be amended and this was ratified this was ruled by the supreme court that under no circumstances the basic structure that is the preamble of the indian constitution cannot be amended and this was ruled out by the supreme court and in the keshavan and the bharti case in my next video i shall be discussing about what exactly is the keshavan and the bharti case now Again, you will come to know the preamble, the constitution should have the preamble, that is prastavna juse kete. So that preamble, the concept of having preamble to the constitution is borrowed from again the American constitution. But what should be the language? By preamble ki bhasha kaisi honi chahiye? The language that is being used in the preamble of the constitution is borrowed from the Australian constitution. So, when our constitution makers, they were, they were given the task of making the constitution, they visited more than 65 countries of the world and they studied the various constitutions of the various countries and whatever is the best that is suited for our country, it is being incorporated in the constitution of India. So, we have laid down the certain procedure for the amendment of the constitution. This amendment procedure is borrowed from the South African constitution. The language of the preamble is borrowed from the Australian constitution. The constitution should have the introduction or the preamble. This concept we have borrowed it from the American constitution. In my next video, I shall be discussing about what exactly is the Keshavan and the Bharti case. What are the various ways and means by which the constitution can be amended? And there are four or five things that we have discussed. It is the discretionary powers of the parliament that parliament can alone make the amendments in the constitution. The series of the amendments shall be discussed in the subsequent videos. I hope the four or five points are very clear to you. Number one. The constitution needs to be amended as and when the time demands. As such, we need to keep pace, keep pace with the changing time. Number two, Article 368, Part 20 of the Indian Constitution deals with the procedure of the amendment in the constitution. Number three, the concept of amending the constitution is borrowed from the South African constitution. The constitution having the preamble is borrowed from the American constitution. The constitution should be flared. written constitution is borrowed from the American constitution. Indian constitution is neither flexible nor rigid. That means we, we are not very much rigid and flexible in amending the constitution. A procedure has to be followed. These are the points. I hope it is very clear to you. Wait for my next video. If you like it, please share it 
and subscribe it thanks for watching the video thank you